watching Daybreak on the Deuce. I bet you didn't know that October is National Cookie Month. In the spirit of the season, we are heating up the oven. Pastry chef Julie Usher joining us live in studio to tell us about her new book, Cookie Swap. So this is a, a beautiful book. Oh, I was flipping through it last week when they originally gave it to me. And, you know, you see lots of cupcake books. I haven't seen as many beautiful cookie books. Well, exactly. And that's partially why I wrote it. I think the cookie needs to make a comeback. It's so easy to, cookies are so easy to make and they're a wonderful gift to give. So many kinds. Exactly. Um, and the book is really a cookie party book. It's called Cookie Swap, Creative Treats to Share Throughout the now, Year. Now, I always so. thought the cookie swap was like a Christmassy type thing. We're saying no, forget that. Well, it has been, but I'm saying no because I think cookies are wonderful, as I said, a wonderful way to share of yourself and to um, spend time in the kitchen, particularly with the kids. Um, uh, so I think they should be done every time of year. The book actually presents parties for everything from a Valentine's Day party mm -hmm. to back to school to Halloween. And I've got some Halloween treats, actually, to share with you in the studio And they're tonight. gorgeous, and, and they're not as complicated as they look. But we're also going to show you something that's super, super simple. Exactly. But first, I do want you to show me how to stencil these cute little pumpkins. Because okay, this great. is something someone could do at Yes, home. And, and it's very kid-friendly as well. So what you want to do is start with um, a decorate, um, an uniced... Um, a nice just a sugar, sugar cookie, cookie right? Yes, okay. correct. And I'm just going to flip this one over. All right. And the way we do it is actually take a little bit of, I've got royal icing here, which is a mixture of confectioner sugar, uh -huh. um, egg whites. And the egg whites are key because they keep the icing, um, they make the icing dry very, very quickly. And they okay. keep it very firm, which means colors are you less likely. You don't want likely. it to bleed. Exactly. Okay. Great. So what I'm going to do is show you how to stencil. And you lay it on an iced cookie. Mm -hmm. Today we've got a plain one, but that's fine too. And then you just want to take your... Just a little bit. Yes, just a little bit, because if you have too much, it'll go under the stencil. If you have too little, it will obviously not cover it. Okay, and, and you're just holding the stencil down. Where do we get these stencils? Yes, good question. Stencils used to be a thing of um, paint supply stores, yeah, sure. but actually they're making specialized cookie stencils that fit um, cookie cutters. So these faces were designed exactly to fit these jack-o'-lantern How pumpkins. cute, and then you can just pull it up on Correct. the side. Correct, and then choosing a stencil, you want to choose one that has a lot of room around the face, okay. um, so that, or around whatever the image is you're stenciling mm -hmm. so that you have a place to put your hands down to actually hold those. So we just hold on to it, yep, press down a little bit I would assume, and then slather it on there. Yeah, and not even slather, just one smooth swipe, and I need to replenish here. Okay. And the less you go over it, the better, because you're more likely to mess it up. And there you have it. And then you pull it off and you have a perfect Correct. little jack-o'-lantern face. And how fun for kids, too, because they can also help. Yes, and I want to show you how I actually made, as well, if we've got time, the leaves yeah, go ahead. and the vines that go on these pumpkins. So are, is that just, again, icing? This is a different kind of icing. It's called fondant, which okay. is a sugar dough. Yes. And it's basically different forms of sugar. And a you can bit of, buy it. I've seen it, can, like, at Michael's yes. craft stores. It's you can per, buy yeah, it already exactly. Done. And cake supply stores, that sort of thing. And it's, it's chewy, it's sweet. It's uh, much like marshmallow. Kids love it, and it behaves a lot like Play-Doh, so it's okay. pretty intuitive to work with. Um, I've colored a green. Okay, very good. I like to use a gel or a liquid gel food coloring for that. This is black, but it also comes in a, in a myriad of colors. Okay. And you just basically knead it in as you would knead bread dough to get the color in. Mm -hmm. And what I do to make the leaves is roll them out on a pasta machine. This is nothing more oh than, you my can use gosh. a rolling pin, but okay. this gets some, it makes a very thin leaf. Roll it right on through there. Right. So I roll it through a couple of times. And then you have to the get thickness thin that enough. you need. Correct. Or the thinness, the I thinness. should say. Some of these pretty delicate. Mean. Very good. And then do you just use a puncher, basically, well, to, to I've kind got of a really cut it out? Oh, groo groovy cutter that has... Kind of a small little cookie cutter. Well, it's cutter. a two-in-one cutter. You can just use a plain leaf cutter, but this one also has an embossing element on the inside, so Very it actually pretty. punches veins into the, into the and leaf. And it's, it's kind of hard to see. I don't know how well you can see it, but you can then bring the edges of the leaves up, and it looks right. like a beautiful little leaf. Now, we do have to wrap here, but I know we also have these cherry chocolate cookies yes, right and there, that are in the book as well contrast to these very lavishly decorated yeah. sugar cookies. Don't we have to do that. Some really simple chocolate cherry drop cookies, very rich and flavorful. The cherries have been soaked in cognac, they're chocolate Ooh, chips and pecans inside, and they're really good. yummy. So you please taste. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thanks for we really me. appreciate it. Pleasure and, uh, being here. I'm sure we will taste all of these cookies soon. Julie will be at the Bookery Nook here in Denver tonight at 6.30. She'll be at the Boulder Bookstore tomorrow night at 7.30. Thanks for joining Thanks us. For we'll be right back. Stay with us. They look great.